starting off week number four of this never-ending ride of murder and madness and mayhem and I keep using M's because I love it so many ways tonight 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 I am reviewing a movie that has kind of a nice cult following it is disgusting disturbing and, and rather degenerate in its own right and that movie is Humanoids from the Deep. So what is Humanoids from the Deep all about? Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so this quaint little seaside village called Novo has a um, proposed cannery to be built there, which will provide great jobs for the locals. However, Apparently, this cannery has been doing some experiments with gene modification, you know, to try to make the salmon grow larger and faster and more plentiful. However, when one of their experiments gets broken out and loosed upon the sea, horrible, horrible things start to happen. Yes, all of a sudden, these genetically freak mutant humanoid fish start attacking the local wildlife and then quickly turn upon the local population. <laughs> yes, but it's not just a murderous rampage. No, because it has an eye on the local ladies. Yes, because even even humanoid fish monsters need love it, and boy, do they want some of that sweet, sweet piece of A. Yeah, that's right. These humanoid monsters want to mate with women, and they don't take no for an answer. Really, seriously, maybe they should watch a video on consent, because, you know, they obviously haven't figured that one out. Yeah, anyways, uh... Anyways, so the the local uh, one of the big local fish guys and the scientists try to figure out what's going on and how to stop it and how to keep the locals from becoming fish food or worse for the ladies. Anyway, so let's get to those scores. So violence and gore, I am giving this a four out of five. It's slow at first. However, there is some pretty. Uh, nasty violence against uh, animals which you might not like but it's fake it's all fake but uh, yeah sometimes people like get more disturbed if they're like their dog gets killed than let's say their wife but i mean <laughs> anyways so uh but it really escalates toward the end and what i could just describe as an orgy of violence at the town festival there is like there is like blood and there's like head ripping and all kinds of all kinds of fun and mayhem plus a whole lot of uh, shooting of fish monsters and they are pretty bloody so anyways four out of five shock valley i'm also giving it a four out of five look they wax a kid at the beginning of the freaking movie you know it's on when they do that but not only that, but the fact that you've got fish rape going on, and we don't talk about just like one scene of fish rape, a couple of scenes, and then, of course, the coup de gras at the end of the film. I won't spoil it for you, but man, 
<laughs> oh, just the implications alone about what just happened <laughs> because of that situation, plus the fact that, oh, it's just, and they went there too. The fact that they went there is, is awesome and horrifying at the same time. So anyways, four out of five. There are a few jump scares in there too, but most of it is just the, the horrificness of raping sea life. Yeah, uh, anyways, so plot, two out of five. Look, look, the plot isn't all that great. I mean, you, you got the whole, you know, big business, some sort of like genetic engineering thing, but it's, it's, it's definitely very, very thin. And then there's this subplot about um, the local um, American Indian uh, who's trying to keep the cannery out and like the, they've got the, the, I guess the main guy who's the proponent for the cannery and he's got a bunch of uh, goons and they're trying to stop him from suing the village. It's, it's totally dumb and uh, not very well developed and it's just some sort of like, I guess, placeholder for something to do in between fish murder and fish rape. So, I mean... I guess we have to have something to watch between those scenes, but really not all that great and well-developed. So anyways, and the characters too are <laughs> very one-dimensional. So anyways, uh, two out of five. Uh, acting, I am giving it two and a half out of five. Look, look, it's, it's, it's your average B-movie fare. There's some interesting performances and there's some interestingly bad performances, uh, but they all kind of even out to just an average uh, acting, but uh, I do like uh, Mr. McClure, who plays the main Fisher guy. He uh, he's got he's got he's got some uh, natural charisma. <laughs> Anyways, so two and a half out of five. Nudity, nudity. We're going for a three out of five. Look, you know, a movie about monster fish raping women. You would think it would be loaded, but there's I mean there's a fair share. However, there's I mean. When you're talking about total screen time, there's not too much, but there is some very lovely lady who, who goes completely naked, and then you've got the the uh, queen salmon of the uh, pageant who gets her top ripped off. And uh, honestly, you know, a little bit here and there, uh, a, kind of a see-through shower curtain thing, but really just nothing like super spectacular. Uh, when you, when you think of like maybe like the four or five range, but definitely a lot, uh, enough for a three out of five. And my enjoyment factor, I'm giving it a four out of five because it's just, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's cheesy. It's, it's, it's got like up and down acting. The plot is laughable, but the fact that it is just an, an orgy of violence at the end and the, the fact that, you know, you've got the, the the attacks you know it's such a like raping fish monsters is just such a a unique thing in horror movies i mean there there's not too many movies that kind of go there um but there are there are there are a few but not a lot so uh it is kind of like one of those things that you feel dirty watching, but you still like just eating popcorn and going, okay, whatever. Oh, damn. So anyways, four out of five. I mean, entertain. I'm not bored by the movie at all. I want to see what happens next. And by God, at the end, you're just like, Oh, man, really? Awesome. Anyways, so, and my overall impression is a three out of five. Look, it's, 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 it's a fun, uh, bloody, nasty, disgusting, depraved movie. And, um, I, I like it. And I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty good. I think it deserves the cult cult status that it has so anyways so three out of five and the average is out to a 3.2 out of five yeah all those bonus points they add up anyways so that is it humanoids from the deep what do you think have you seen this movie leave a comment tell me am i completely right that this is a fun disgusting rock or am I completely wrong and this is the worst movie ever made and should be banned and burned and anyone who enjoys it has to be shot in public? I don't know. Anyways, leave a comment. Give me a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And remember, Internet, I will see you next time. But you better stay sexy, stay scary, and... 
Oh my gosh. Just, just, just stay out of the water. Stay out of the water. You don't, you don't, you don't want that, that fish, <laughs> fish murder. Oh man. <laughs> Mwah! Mwah!